In this video, we're going to talk through how you can use action buttons in your Naloco app to create new records. This app here is a back office tool for an online furniture business like IKEA. Here we can see a collection view where we have a list of orders grouped by the status of that order. Let's say that after an order has been submitted, a customer gets in touch and they want to amend the order. Let's say they want to add additional products to their order as well. If I click into one of the orders here, I can see that orders have order line items for each particular product associated with the order. Going back to the collection view here, I might want to add an action button to this collection view that allows me to amend each of these orders to add new products or new line items to that order. To add these action buttons, I'm gonna to firstly to toggle on builder mode using my keyboard shortcut command D. E. I'm gonna to click to surface the builder sidebar here. I'm gonna choose buttons on the left-hand side here. And I'm gonna go into the record buttons. And I'm gonna to click to add my first record button. I'm going to rename this add order line item. Then I'm gonna go through the button settings here. So I can choose the button color here, default is fine. And I do want this to be a modal type action button. In other words, that a form will open for the user to complete when I click on the action button. And I'm gonna title this modal. So I'm gonna say add order line items and description. So add, add a new line item to this order. Perfect. Then I'm gonna add a success notification so the user knows when the action button has successfully worked. So I'm gonna choose a success type notification here and I'm gonna say that line item added is the notification text. I can also set visibility rules for which users should see this action button, but I'm just gonna keep that as a default settings for now so that all users can see them. Now I'm ready to add specific actions to my action button. So I click add here then I get to choose what action should happen first. And in this instance, I want to create new order line items associated with this particular order. So I'm gonna choose create a new record here. And as opposed to defaulting to create this record as in another order record, what I want to do is create order line items. In other words, add a record to the associated order line items collection. And after creating this record, I don't actually want to open the new order line item record. I want the user to stay on the same page and to see the success notification that we previously set up here. So I'm gonna to toggle off this setting. Now I get to choose which fields get shown in the pop-up modal that surfaces when the user clicks on the action button. So I'm gonna want the name field, which is the name of the order line item, the record ID, I know is a required field, the quantity, the cost, and the product. And we know that the order field will already be populated as we're adding the line item to a particular order. So now I get to reorder these. So I'm going to put the record ID first. I'm gonna put the product next, and I'm gonna put name in the last position here. Now I'm gonna change some of the values here that get shown in the form. So the record ID, as I'm using a Postgres database, I know is a required field. So I'm just gonna add a hidden value here. So I'm just gonna say that I want the record ID to be unique. So I'm gonna choose the record ID from the order. And then I'm also just going to add in the ID of the record here as well. So I just want that to be a unique value. The product, that's just gonna be a drop down showing all the available products, the quantity they can fill out and the cost as well. And for the name field here, I'm gonna set a default value because I want the name field to take the same format here as the other order line items. So I'm gonna pull in dynamic data here. So I'm gonna say, I wanna pull in the order's customer's name, which is the first bit of information here. Then I'm gonna add in order. And I'm gonna add in the order number. Order number here. I'm gonna add in the quantity from the form data. In other words, the quantity that we enter here ourselves. Then I'm going to add in the product name here as well. The so form data product name. Perfect. So we'll see that be filled out dynamically when we start entering data into the form. 
All right, so now we're ready to test our new action button. So I'm gonna go out of this and turn off builder mode using my keyboard shortcut command D. And now I'm gonna go and test the add order line items record button here. So as we can see, this record button gets shown on each of the orders here. So I'm gonna to try to add an order line item to this Forest Legal Partners order number 416 here. And previously the total cost of the order was $21,825. So firstly, I'm going to choose the associated products. So I'm going to say they want to add this chair. I'm going to say they want to add two of them. And let's say the total cost is 400. And we can see the name of this order line item has been dynamically filled out as we have entered form data here. So if I confirm, I can see that a new order line item record has been created. The success notification shown in the top right hand corner here. And the total cost of this order has indeed increased. What we might want to do is add in certain visibility rules so that this action button is only shown when the order is in a received state. In other words, that we don't have the ability to add order line items to orders that are already being prepared or those that have already been completed and shipped. So I'm gonna to toggle on builder mode here, click to surface the builder sidebar, go into my record button and go into the settings here again. Now I'm gonna add certain visibility rules. So I'm gonna say that I only want this action button to be shown when the order status is equal to received. So now if I hover over the records in the preparing state, I don't see the action button, whereas I do see it when hovering over the records in the received state. This action button is surfaced when hovering over records in this collection view, but I can also add it to the record page as well. So if I click into the particular order here, and surface the builder sidebar, I see that there is an action button available to me here. I can simply turn on this action button that I previously set up on the collection view. So that's how easy it is to add action buttons to your local apps to enable you to create records.